Hey, it's Mr. Freaky. If you haven't heard of Teddy Ruxpin, it was a creepy animatronic bear from back in the 90s that could talk, read, and sing to you while moving its mouth and eyes around. Yeah, pretty horrible. And back then, for some reason, it was all the rage. It was basically America's favorite teddy bear for a number of years. However, stories have come out since then, showing that it deserved to be called anything but that. A story I find particularly terrifying is one about a mom who bought a Teddy Ruxpin from a yard sale back in the 80s. Her plan initially was to save little Teddy for a while and give it to her son on his birthday, only that proved to be more problematic than she'd anticipated. She had him hidden in the laundry room, and sometimes when she'd go in there, it would talk to her, even when it wasn't supposed to have been turned on. At first she thought it was just some sort of electrical issue, but after talking to one of her friends about it, she found out the bear was actually saying things to her that it wasn't even programmed to say. One of the main things she said was that on several occasions it said this rhyme, which went like this. Touch my heart. You can talk to me. All your secrets and daydreams. See how fun it can be. The rhyme seemed like it could possibly just be on the tape and... Maybe the company had sent the wrong one or something. But then it began to say some more alarming things to her. The most disturbing one being about fire. One night it said to her, Sometimes I like to play with matches, even though I know I'm not supposed to. Have you ever played with fire? See, the mother had accidentally burned her house down when she was a child, making this statement from the bear very disturbing to her. After that, she immediately buried the bear in a box in one of the storage closets, and tried not to think about it again. That was when her son began to complain about whispers coming from the closet down the hallway. He said the voice would ask him, Are you there? I know you can hear me. The scariest thing about this was that she'd never even told her son about the bear, or that she'd put it in the closet, so he probably wouldn't have just made that up. The whole ordeal caused the mom to finally get rid of the bear altogether and even put in an official complaint with the company, who denied the possibility of the bear ever being able to say any of those things. Still to this day, she's never forgotten about the situation, and the horror of living with that thing for just a few months probably scarred her for life. Another story that happened was in the 90s. A kid had gotten a Teddy Ruxman from his church group as a present for Christmas. Him and the bear quickly became best friends, and he would bring it everywhere with him. As the boy got older, his parents began to worry about if it was healthy for their son to be carrying a bear around everywhere he went. So they hid it in the attic for a while to try and wean him off of the bear. The little boy was devastated, but his parents said they'd give it back to him soon, and he just needed to try to spend some time without it for a while. That was when things started getting really creepy. The boy apparently got very sick all of a sudden. He contracted some kind of severe pneumonia and literally passed away just a couple months later. The parents never really put two and two together about that they'd taken the bear away around the same time that he'd caught the disease. So a few months after when they were cleaning out the attic, they gave the bear to the boy's little sister, figuring it would be a good way for her to remember her brother. Over the coming weeks after getting the bear, the little girl grew very withdrawn and seemed to completely stop talking to everyone. Her parents tried asking her what was wrong, but she never wanted to talk about it, seemingly out of fear. Eventually, her parents grew very concerned and sent her to see a child psychologist. After many sessions, the little girl ended up breaking down and telling her psychologist what is truly one of the most horrifying things I've ever heard about a kid saying. She told her that the reason for her silence was that she was afraid of the Teddy Ruxpin doll, and that it had told her if she ever talked to anyone about it, it would do to her what it had done to her brother. Once the psychologist told the little girl's parents about this, they immediately got rid of the bear, even after the psychologist said it might not be a good idea. Sadly, she was correct. A couple days later, the girl was walking home from school, and a car skidded off the road and hit her, killing her instantly. Her parents to this day say they regret ever getting rid of the bear and are very fearful about if anyone else has ever found it. 
Lastly, there's this legend about Teddy Ruxpin having a secret hidden message on it. And if you operate it in a certain way, you apparently unlock it. All you have to do is turn it on and off, then push the button on its back several times in a certain arrangement. And if you do this in a very specific, exactly correct way, it unlocks this creepy secret message. Creators of Teddy Ruxpin have completely denied the existence of this secret message, and have said that any of the ones seen doing it have been modified by their owners. However, there was an account of a kid who got one of them a few years ago and learned about unlocking that message. After pushing the buttons in the correct sequence and finally getting it, this strange organ music began playing. Like no talking or anything, just the music. After that, the bear wouldn't just turn off again either, so the kid pretty much just left them on and did other things. About an hour went by of the weird sound effect when this whispering started coming in over the background. That immediately got the kid's attention and he walked over to the bear, noticing that the whispers were actually the names of people. At first he thought they were just random people, but then he typed some of them into Google and discovered that they were actually the names of people who had passed away. This really freaked him out, and he decided to remove the batteries and turn it off. Then, just as he was about to take them out, he heard it whisper his own name and his parents' names, too. He threw the bear away in the trash that night, but it apparently wasn't much help. That weekend, the kid and his parents were out boating on a lake nearby, and his dad accidentally crashed into a dock, killing the entire family. So that's all the stories I have about the terrifying Teddy Ruxpin. After hearing them, I'm definitely happy I don't have mine from childhood anymore. You honestly couldn't pay me enough to have that in my house. Well, maybe you could, but a lot. Like, a lot. Anyways, if you have any other creepy stories about Teddy Ruxpin, go ahead and send them to my email, and I might make another one of these videos, depending on how much you guys like it. For now, though, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Have a horrific evening, everyone. And remember to stay spooky, my friends.